All right, for this lesson, we're going to um, be solving exponential and logarithmic equations, and it's going to be super fun. No big deal. Okay, so our objectives um, are going to be answering the question, how are exponential functions and logarithmic functions related? So our objectives are to solve exponential equations with common or different bases or by graphing, and to solve logarithmic equations by using properties of logarithms. Okay, so I got a couple co vocab words for you. Um, an exponential equation is anything um, a number raised to a power with a variable. So that's all that means. Exponential has um, a, a variable and an exponent. Logarithmic just means that you have um, a variable in your logarithm. So, pretty simple. Okay, so we're going to start um, with the easy one. We've kind of done some of this a little bit. Um, so we're going to solve an exponential equation with a common base. So if we look at this problem, we have 16 to the 3x power equals 8. Now, do you notice something about 16 and 8? Do they have a common base? Yes, their common base is 2. So can we write it as 2 to the 4th, that is 16, to the 3x equals 2 cubed? Now, what do we do when we have um, a power raised to a power? We multiply them together, so we get 2 to the 12x equals 2 to the 3rd. And now that we have a common base, we can set our exponents equal to each other. So 12x equals 3, divide both sides by 12, and you get x is 1 fourth. Pretty simple. So what about this one? Uh, what's the solution of 27 to the 3x equals 81? So first thing we have to ask ourselves is, do 27 and 81 have a common base? And yes, they do. That's 3. So 27 is 3 to the 3rd to the 3x power equals 3 to the 4th. Okay, so now multiply these two. So I get 3 to the 9x equals 3 to the 4th. So now that we have a common base, we can just deal with the exponent parts. So 9x equals 4, divide both sides by 9, x equals 4 ninths. All right, that's all that one is. Now, when we have different bases, what we have to do, um, 15 to the 3x equals 285. We can't rewrite this so that um, we have any number as our base. 15 is the only number um, that, you know, 15 goes into. And 285 is not one of the powers of 15. So what we do is rewrite this as a logarithm log of 15 to the 3x equals log of 285. And then you go ahead and use your um, logarithmic properties, bring the 3x out front so that it's 3x log 15 equals log of 285. And then you can go ahead and divide both sides by anything that's not your variable, so 3 log 15. I'm going to divide that on both sides. Um, and now all we have to do is plug that into our calculator because we don't have um, a nice answer for that one. So once you plug that into your calculator, you should get x is about 0.6958. And then you can check by plugging it in. So what is the solution of 5 to the 2x equals 130? Okay, I'm going to help you get started on this, but then you're going to have to solve it on your own. Okay, so the first thing we do is we take and we write it both sides as a log. So log 5 to the 2x, that's an x, equals log 130. Okay, now we use our properties of logarithms, bring the 2x out front. 2x log 5 equals log 130. Now, anything that's not an x we want to get rid of. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 log 5. And then go ahead and plug that into your calculator and get an estimation for x. You're going to have to write it as log 30 divided by parenthesis 2 times log 5 and parenthesis. If you're not sure how to do that. All right. Um, you can also solve these using um, a graph or a calculator. Um, I'm just going to show you one way. This is going to be the easiest um, way to solve it. So what's the solution of 4 to the 3x equals 6,000? Um, well, we don't have a common base for this one, so we can't rewrite it. So what you can do is take and put um, one half of your equation, 4 to the 3x, on in your y1. Put the other one, y2 equals 6,000, into your calculator. 
Okay, and then go ahead and graph both of those. But you're going to have to change your window because um, obviously 6,000 is going to be a point that's way up on your graph. Um, so if you just kind of zoom out, like way, 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 way out, if this is 6,000, it kind of does like this thing up to it. So you should see like that. Okay, so we want to know what this point is. So we're going to use our intersect. So you're going to have to use this as one of your lines, and this is another one of your lines. Use your intersect feature, and it should give you your value for x. Okay, when you do that, you should get that x is about equal to 2.09. Pretty simple. If you have um, problems with that, come see me. I want to help you. Um, solving logarithmic equa equations. What's the solution of log of 4x minus 3 equals 2? Now, in order to solve these, um, we can't solve them in the state that they're in, so we need to change them into exp uh, exponential or x ex yeah exponential equations. Excuse me. Okay, so to use our exponential equations, so we had y equals b to the x. So log base, um, what was it? Log base b of x equals y. Is that what it is? No, I'm confused. Okay. Well, I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rewrite this as um, an exponential notation. So what is assumed if we don't have a base? It's assumed to be base 10. So we're going to say 10 to the second power equals 4x minus 3. And then 10 squared is 100, so 4x minus 3 equals 100. Add 3 to both sides. Divide by 4, you get 100 over 4, or 27, or 25.75, or 25 and a quarter, however you want to put it. So that's one way to do it. This is probably going to be your best bet, because, you know, I don't want you to be monkeys, all that good thing. Okay, you can also do these by graphing. Do the same thing you did before. Your y1 is going to be your um, left side of the equation, log 4x minus 3. And then your y2 is going to be your right side of the equation, 2. Graph them both, find where they intersect. You're going to get the same answer. It's going to be 25.75. Uh, okay, um, for when you take tests and when you take quizzes, show as much work as you can because I want to see that you actually know how to do the processes, not that you know how to use your calculator. While it is good to use your calculator, it should be used for checking, not for doing all the work for you. I will count off if you don't show work. Okay, uh, last one, using properties. So sometimes we'll have multiple logs. So um, in order to solve and to put it into exponential form, we have to have only one log. Okay, so when we have a log plus a log, what do we know to do um, with the x minus 3 and the x part? Well, if it's addition, we're going to multiply them. So log of x minus 3 times x equals 1. Now we can put it into exponential form. We know that the base is 10. It's understood to be 10. So x minus 3 times x equals 10 to the first. So distribute that x through. You get x squared minus 3x equals 10. Now, since we have um, a quadratic, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Since we have a quadratic, we move everything over to one side, see if we can factor and solve that way. So uh, subtract 10 from both sides. Is there a number that multiplies to be negative 10 but adds to be negative 3? Yes, negative 5 and positive 2. Um, are going to be your solu or going to be your factors. So then your solutions are x equals five and negative two, and then go ahead and plug them back in just to check and verify to make sure they work, and they both do. And that's fabulous. Okay, so this is the one I want you to do for your lesson check. Uh, you're going to discuss this one with your partner. You need to solve it. So you see we have two separate logs. So we're going to have to combine them into one log and put it in exponential form, and then solve for x. So there's your lesson check. Also, your homework is 7-5. Don't forget to do that, and I'll see you later.